Hi everybody, this is Guillermo speaking. We went for a 50s Hollywood noir look, inspired by the uh, melodramas of the day, particularly the works of Douglas Sirk and his ironic eye for storytelling, claustrophobic atmospheres, inner repression and characters with heightened performances. Frank calls as a coded political element to it that may be initially overlooked. It was designed to be viewed quite differently when the codes are cracked. The film is actually a criticism of Western society, race and gender, that plays just under the surface of the plot. Style conceals the message. In Frank Calls, Bobby is the outsider who wants to belong and play in the world before him. He tries to live by the rules that are controlled by the white ruling power. To legitimise his relationship, Bobby marries Cat. However, Cat still desires Frank, and she unceremoniously and irrationally dumps Bobby, humiliating him and reneges on the binding institution of marriage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's all about Frank, isn't it? To win Cat's favours, Bobby tries to talk in the desired way, where everything is sexualised. Really? How so? I could come round yours and let myself in, open a few drawers, let a bin and flush the toilet and just oh. quietly go. Hey, sweetie pie, how about I flush the toilet? And he tries to dress like Frank. He wears Frank's boxer shorts. Bobby has to be Frank in a world that won't accept him as he is. Yet that avenue is an illusion, and never really open to him. The white characters in Frank Calls do not abide by their own laws. Cat smashes her vows to Bobby. Frank and Cat flaunt the law regarding apprehended violence orders, restraining orders. The very world that Bobby wants to belong to, and that rejects him, breaks its own rules. There is no law and order, but just a facade of it. In Frank Calls, the white man's world of desire and power is not one that is inclusive. It is a world that does not believe in its own mores and identity is compromised and shattered before becoming murkier and darker towards the end. And the characters are left as disembodied voices, silhouettes moving in shadows. Everything is about intrigue, dark games, imagined and disempowering impossible identities. Female desire is also thwarted. Cat cannot express herself fully unless she plays Frank's game and submits to his rules, being the white dominant male. Frank corrects her at the end and threatens to withdraw his affections unless she submits to his concept of desire. What? You ruined it. You meant to hate it. It's meant to be unwanted. Frank appears in a tuxedo as a type of James Bond in a heroic, misogynistic masculinity, thus stereotyping them both in the game they are playing. The red knife is held by Cat, waved around by Bobby, and represents the penis and power. Each is seeking to hold the knife. At the end, when Cat hears noises coming from the house, she drops the knife before entering. One can clearly hear the knife drop, and in the next shot, she no longer carries it. Cat has relinquished her desire and power to the dominant white male. Both female desire, identity, and black desire, identity, cannot freely exist in a world where the rules of the game are created only by the white male for his continued grip onto power. Indeed, Frank calls the shots. Hey, thanks for listening and uh, have fun at SoCal.